Well, Rick, the conversations here at the main branch of the library kept coming back to accountability. The community wants to see bad officers held accountable, but many are still skeptical as to whether they'll ever actually see that. Two months after the Department of Justice released its bombshell report on the patterns and practices of LMPD, the public is getting a chance to sit down across from DOJ officials to help shape the future of the department. The central question for our discussions this evening is what do you want policing to look like in Louisville? The meeting was broken up into small groups made up of community members and two DOJ representatives each. The idea was to create a space where people could take part in an open dialogue and bring their ideas to the table. But some question how this meeting will be different than any others. These settings are just cyclical, just a response to say, oh, we made an effort. No, I didn't come out at 6 o'clock on Monday evening just to make an effort. I came out to make a difference. The DOJ is promising to take that feedback into consideration when drafting the consent decree, which will outline the reforms LMPD must enact. DOJ civil rights attorney Charles Hart says they will focus on changes in policy, supervision, oversight, and training. For many in this group, it all comes down to accountability. And for some, that starts with naming the bad officers. There needs to be either a state or local database on policemen who are bad apples. Other suggestions included eliminating qualified immunity, creating a special prosecutor to handle cases involving police officers, funding more positions in the crisis intervention teams, more officer community engagement, and mandated mental health check-ins for officers. And these guys got to go in calm and level-headed. There's got to be training. There's got to be support. They don't feel the support. Um, I mean, it takes a lot of support if you deal with that kind of stuff. Now, in the group I sat down with tonight, another thing that almost had unanimous agreement was there needs to be independent oversight and it needs to have the muscle to be effective. That includes things like subpoena power. Now, there were also several other really thoughtful suggestions, but the DOJ wants more. They have three more upcoming public meetings, including tomorrow night. That one is taking place from 6 to 7.30 p.m. at the South Central Regional Library. Reporting live downtown tonight, Drew Gardner, WLKY News.